Welcome to Inner Harmony, the podcast that invites us to take a break and experience a time of reflection and guided meditation with Reverend Jefferson Beaker. These few moments to turn within and discover true peace and the presence of Spirit God are a gift we can give to ourselves and have lasting benefits in all aspects of our lives. So remove all distractions possible, settle in, and open yourself to the calming practice of mindfulness. Here's Rev. J. A question for you today. How big is your God? How do you see God acting in and through your life? Does God seem limited or unlimited in the miracles that are possible for your life? Writer of Celtic spirituality, John Philip Newell, in his wonderful book, Sacred Earth, Sacred Soul, writes this on page 20. The God of so much of our Western Christianity is a pretty small God. But the new sense of the sacred that is trying to be born among us is a cosmic God much greater than any of the boundaries we have tried to set around sacredness. And then he goes on to write, In Celtic wisdom we remember that our soul, the very heart of our being, is sacred. I like this belief from Celtic wisdom. It promises us that God is bigger than any obstacle, problem, or concern that we may have, that God is always right where we are at every moment, and that this beautiful energy and vibration of spirit can carry us forward with grace, compassion, and wisdom to an ever greater experience of this amazing gift we have been given, the gift of life. So, how big is your God? What do you believe God is capable of doing in your life? Remember, there is no order of difficulty in miracles. One is not harder or bigger than another. They are all the same. All expressions of love are equal. Let's begin by relaxing our bodies and finding a comfortable and receptive position where we can feel both awake and aware, but relaxed and open to discovery. Close your eyes if you wish to do so, or you can soften your gaze and look downward. Take a few calming breaths and allow your mind and heart to open fully, like a rosebud opening, willing to receive spirit fully and lovingly. We begin at the very beginning with the awareness that there is one presence for good in the universe and that this presence is Spirit God. We know that this Spirit is forever faithful and that it is unconditionally loving creation. We affirm and know that we are each Spirit's creation. We are one with Spirit. There is really no space where that spiritual presence leaves off and we begin. For in truth, we are forever connected as one.
Spirit God is unlimited, unconditional, perfect energy without beginning and without end. So with your each breath, allow your awareness of this divine presence to expand for you as you open up the boundless presence of spirit that is within you. How does that feel? Do any thoughts or sensations come up for you? false beliefs about God you may have been harboring to come up into your mind so that you may release them, let them go, opening a space for light, love, happiness, joy, and peace. Breathe into the moment and affirm that you are now and have always been an unconditionally beloved child of God, just as you are. How does it feel when you think about God's unlimited presence within you?
as you rest in this moment. Open your eyes and return your awareness to your physical space. And as you go forward, honor that this divine presence is with you in each and every moment. Each and every moment without fail. Namaste. Thank you for meditating with me today, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for listening to Inner Harmony with Reverend Jefferson Beaker, recorded and produced by me, Donna Miller, with production support from Jace Lucas. This has been a presentation of the Harmony Podcast Network, sponsored in part by Hollywood United Methodist Church, of which Harmony Toluca Lake is the second campus. Find us on Instagram at Harmony underscore TLC and on Facebook at Harmony TL. Don't forget to like, download, and share with anyone you think would benefit from engaging with mindfulness. New episodes premiere every first and third Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe so you never miss one. Until next time, namaste.